Hi guys, are you tired of waiting for files to transfer or video to buffer? It is time to upgrade to a 10 gigabit LAN. Whether you're upgrading your home network or enhancing your business infrastructure, this video will get you covered. And in this video, we are going to show you how to connect to our Viber switch to build a 10 gigabit LAN and unleashing the fast speed and paving the way for seamless data transmission. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So the 10 gigabit LAN over fiber switch can offer an excellent solution for organization or environment that require high speed networking or demanding application where a large volume of data needs to be transmitted quickly and efficiently. And since it is a technology that can provide data transmission at a rate of 10 gigabit per second over a local area network. It can also provide a significant increase in bandwidth. So let's take a closer look what we have in here. So let's unbox our switch here. We have a user guide, an ethernet cable, the power adapter, and also a tape to stable our switch. Let's take it out and unwrap this. So this is our 2.5 gigabit port. We have eight of them with the 10 gigabit SFP transceiver. And let's use this switch to do some connection at the demonstration board. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and today we are going to connect those two fiber switch together using the fiber optic cable. Now this has total eight port and for each port it has 2.5 gigabit data transfer rate and this is the 10 gigabit network speed fiber port where we put the SFP transceiver and the SFP transceiver is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the connector that you use and some of you may not be familiar how fast is 10 gigabit data transfer rate so let me put it this way if you have a large number of books that you need to transport from one location to another, a 1 gigabit data transfer rate would be like a single person who is carrying the books in their arms, while 10 gigabit data transfer rate is like a delivery truck that can transport a massive number of books in a single trip. That's how fast of a 10 gigabit data connection. So now let's do the connection together. So we have the router here to provide the main network data and this is our switch. Let me power it up first. We can see the indicator light is on and use a short patch cord to connect our router with the switch. Let's plug it in. This is the SFP transceiver. I'm going to plug it into the 10 gigabit SFP slot. This is the fiber optic cable and it's already pre-made it so we don't need to worry about the connector. And it's 100% tested in the factory. Let's use string A because we have two string and leave string B for spare use. So it's already plugged in. Now let's come over this side. We have two 100 meter fiber optic cable and we are going to use the coupler here to join those two together. Remember we have string A on this side and let's use string A on the other side. So now we have total 200 meter fiber optic cable connection and we also have 300 and 500 meter fiber optic cable we can choose from. And let's come over to the other fiber switch and let me power it up first. 
and the indicated light is on. Let's plug in the SFP transceiver as well. And remember, we use strength A fiber optic cable. Now we have 10 gigabit connection. And use the short patch cord here and connect with a computer. Here we go. And the light is on. And we can add also other devices like the wireless access point. Let's plug it into this switch here. And it's already been powered up. So now it's getting data. So deploying Wi-Fi access point with 2.5 gigabit switch can enhance the performance and capacity of wireless network. It can enable for faster connection and support multiple devices simultaneously, an ideal for environment that require faster network speed and allows for seamless transmission of large file, smooth multimedia streaming, and lag-free online gaming. And we can see the whole connection is now done and it's pretty simple, right? So the fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency and longer distance since it is made out of glass. So it's just light pulse to transfer the data. And make sure you use proper tools and equipment for fiber optic cable installation because they require careful handling to avoid damage and ensure proper installation. Today we use a single mode fiber optic cable and they're also multi mode while single mode are designed for longer distance transmission and multi mode are ideal for shorter distance and make sure you also understanding the feature and the specification to consider while choosing your fiber switches and if you want to connect with poe devices you can use the fiber switch with poe capability and here's a video on how to build a 10 gigabit nan with the fiber poe switch and thank you so much for watching us today